I've already gotten uh, three bouts or three inches slayed, but I wanted to show you my process. So I've got uh, a, a fairly decent length all the way out to the edge of the breast beam. And that allows me to have enough extra length so that I don't have to tie this or hold the, the beater bar in any particular location. The bats themselves hold it steady. Okay? So I actually am doing a 36 ends per inch on this particular uh, pattern uh, draft. So that means I have a 12 dent reed um, in the beater bar which means I have 12 um, holes per inch. So since I have 12 holes per inch, that means I have 36 uh, ends per inch, okay? So that means I am pulling three threads at a time. So I will, I will grab three threads. I will hold them like this. I put my head will hook um, or my reed hook through, hook it on, and you'll notice I'm not I'm not separating them, I'm just simply pulling. And it's long enough that it can just it can just hang. Okay. I go to the next dent, I find the next three threads in line. One, two, three. Again, I pull them out. I don't worry, I don't worry about this tangle down there. It all pulls out, okay? Read hook through, hook it around, and pull it through. And I kind of hold it so that these fall. Okay? And again, one, two, three. This is the hard part, of course, making sure that you get the next three in line. It's not too bad on a point twill, which is what this is, because you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back down. So you know which one the next one is. It gets more difficult when you have um, M's and W's or if you have a, a rambling um, twill or or even a, a, a huck lace or something like that. It gets a little bit more difficult to count. So one, two, three. There's four that I've threaded or slayed, we slay the reed. I am slaying this project. <laughs> oh, listen to me with my dad jokes while I'm doing this. Okay, four. And you'll notice that I have a couple, a couple of ends here that have, um, that were too short. So I've actually tied on a couple of extra lengths because I know then after I finish threading and slaying and tying on, these are going to be buried. Nobody's gonna see them because the whole project is probably gonna start right about there. This bit right here is what we call loom waste. It will be wasted. You are not gonna be doing anything but tying this onto the breast beam and then making sure that um, all, of the, all of the Vs um, and triangles that are opened up um, are, are spread properly. So these will, these little knots will not be in the project, but they were necessary in order to get the project to the proper length that I needed it to be. One, two, three, four, five. I've done five out of 12. So let's go ahead and keep going here. And, oh, yep, there we go. So I've got one, two, three. You probably can't even see these. This is 20 slash two cotton. So this is very thin cotton, um, which is going to hopefully make for an absolutely fantastic drape on this cloth that I am making, um, which will eventually be turned into, I don't know, a garment of some sort. I'm not sure what though. Um, with the color choices that I've got, because this is going to be paired with a light blue, like a baby blue. Um, that's not exactly medieval, and if you know me, I am a medieval person um, of the 14th century, is, is my preference. 
And uh, this, this definitely is probably not period colors. So we'll see. Maybe I'll turn it into a blouse that I can wear to work. And that's nine. Okay. And of course that means that I have to find a blouse pattern. <laughs> oh, the joys. Once you do the fabric, then you have to figure out what you're gonna do to the fabric. Um, so I don't know, this is, this is gonna be an interesting project. Okay, so I just, got, I just got to the end of the last set, so I'm going to open that up. I always keep them tied as long as possible in these sections, simply because if, if I accidentally walk behind the loom and, and something grabs them and pulls them out, these knots are not gonna be pulled out these knots are not going to be pulled out. So at worst, I have this much that I have to rethread at the worst. Um, so far that's only happened once. And I admit that it was uh, me trying to, trying to chase down an errant puppy who just grabbed uh, my shuttle that I was planning on using and ran out the door. Just absolutely hysterically, um, me chasing after him, brandishing. My... <laughs> it was funny. It was not funny at the time, but looking back on it, absolutely hilarious. Okay, so now that I've gotten my, my 12 dents, I'm going to take this and wrap it around so that they're approximately the same, uh, the knots are the same length. And then I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna do the next set.